All right, helping people move into a new house is hell on earth. I think everybody knows that. Last year, I helped nine different people move. That's nine firstborn children that are gonna be named after me someday. Because helping somebody move is a huge favor and is a big pain in the dick. All my friends asked me to help move, and I don't know why, because I suck at moving. One time, when I was 14, I was helping my dad move a refrigerator downstairs, and he's down there, his life is in my hands. He's looking up at me, he's like, uh, you sure you got this? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. I wasn't fucking sure. Not even a little bit. 12 seconds later, the fridge is cascading down the stairs like the tool chest in Home Alone 2. I'm at the top of the stairs freaking out, thinking I just murdered my father with a kitchen appliance. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to bury my dad's body and live in the shadows the rest of my life like Lindsay Lohan. God damn it, what are you, trying to kill me? Look, you broke the stairs for Christ's sake, what's the matter with you? I didn't even know you could break stairs, but it turns out you can if you throw a refrigerator at them. So it's kind of a bummer when people come up to me, and they're all excited. Guess what, guess what? We just just bought a house. Oh, that's great. Oh, shit. shit. They're gonna They're ask gonna me ask to me help, to help them, move. them move. So, do you got any plans this weekend? I should just I should lie. lie. I should I just, should just lie, lie to their dumb, dumb stupid, stupid fucking, fucking faces. faces. Uh, yeah, I got to, uh, help my brother learn how to pee standing up. You have a brother? Did I say brother? No, I met, uh, my mother. I, uh, have to help her pee standing up. She gets jealous of my dad. It's weird. Oh, for Christ's sake, I'll help you move, okay? The shit I'd rather do for somebody than help them move. Oh, you need a kidney? Here, you can have one of mine. Your grandpa needs help getting a catheter put in? Whip it out, old man. Oh, you want me to help you move a washing machine up two flights of stairs? Well, you can promptly kiss my rosy ass. How about that? What are you taking a washer up two flights of stairs for? What are you, fucking doing laundry in the attic? No, I'm not doing it. That's stupid. But then the weekend rolls around, and there you are, helping somebody move. Because you're a piece of shit, but you're not that much of a piece of shit. So you show up and they got like one shitty little truck that looks like they just built it in the driveway 20 minutes ago. And you start moving their things and as soon as you start lifting that first heavy thing, you're like, oh yeah, moving sucks ass. I almost forgot. Sweat's pouring off my face. I feel like I'm stroking out. You get about two thirds of the way and you're like, fuck it, I'm done, I'm giving up. Get an extension cord, do your laundry on the stairs. I could give a shit. Because your friends collect nothing but the heaviest things in the world. Oh, I just got a few things here, just like a section couch, a pool table, a bag of bowling balls, you know. Speaking of pool tables, I'll tell you right now. If you ever want a pool table in your house, get the pool table first, and then build your fucking house around it. Believe me, it's easier that way. So you're moving all their heavy shit, and you're looking at your friends, and they're all taking the easy stuff. Okay, I'll carry this bag of Monopoly tokens. Do you think you could grab that dead camel carcass over there? Half the time, they're just screwing around, walking around, exploring their new house. What does this light switch go to? Why does the toilet keep flushing? Honey, I think we got poltergeist! You start rummaging through your friend's stuff, see what kind of weird shit they're bringing over. What do you want me to do with this box full of lotion and handcuffs? Uh, just, uh, put that down in the dungeon. Basement! Basement, I mean basement. About halfway through the day, you're totally exhausted. You start to have no respect for your friend's property anymore. Make sure you're careful with that bookshelf. That was my great-grandmother's. Yeah, okay, I got it. Shit! Your ass! Through! The doorway! Finally, it's the end of the day. Mission's accomplished. They're feeding you beer and pizza. Your body feels like a used diaper. You're all sweaty and sticky like a fat Dan Aykroyd. Wow, let's never do that again. How about that? I hope you guys are here for 40 years. And if you decide to move after that, that's fine because I'll probably be dead. Move away. Thanks for the beer. You guys are assholes. I'll see you later. BrewStew.com